Hey, hello, and welcome back once again to Strategic Mind, Spectre of Communism. We are here in the, uh, I don't even know how many a turn, but it's the Lake Balaton defensive operation. I already took the liberty of removing all of the winter clothing from all of my units because this is not a winter operation. So, um, yeah, we're at... Uh, uh, that number of prestige. Let's first take a look at the victory points that we'll be investing here. I do still want to, let's see, there was the infantry attack that can get cheaper, this one. Let's do that. That's probably quite uh, beneficial here. Don't need logistics for the moment. Might get it at a later stage. Don't have the points for optimization, uh, but let's go for modernization program. Mm. Actually, I think I'm gonna go for airstrike here. I have becoming been uh, becoming less and less of a fan of airstrike but there might be instances where i might find it useful i'm not gonna get my hopes up but uh, <laughs> you never know anyway let, let's go for the upgrade so we have the is3 and compared to the is2 that is three more heart defense plus one air heart attack and soft attack so at the very least, I want to upgrade my IS-2s to IS-3s, and I thought that I had three of them, yeah. Mm, I'm not going to upgrade the T-3485s currently, no. No, indeed. Might change the M4A-A1, but only if I have the points for it. Mm. These will not be upgraded. How about the anti-air? No. None of these will be upgraded. I think I could technically buy another one of these big guns. But ultimately... Yeah, it might not be worth it. In the air. These are the same kind of upgrades that I could do before, but I already did talk about uh, some of those guys are uh, pretty bad. Though I do want to get an LA-7. Let's just switch this one to the LA-7. Slowly but steadily, I'm, I'm switching up all these air units and replacing the weakest ones. Okay, uh, let's go for the overstrength. Uh, 14, 13... And 16, 16, 15, 12. That's all fine. Looking at... Uh, oh, there's not that many of my units leveled up. Mm. I guess it's because most of the damage is being done by a, a very small amount of units at this point anyway. Um, which means that overall, the amount of uh, um, yeah, the the amount of level ups that I get are, are fairly small. Uh, shouldn't this be? This is weird though. I did take the skill. Oh, I didn't. Right. Uh, <laughs> that was silly. Either way, I do need to actually give these guys back some of their uh, upgrades. Let's do that first before I uh, skip to the potentially uh, last upgrade. Uh, 
Getting back all the aircraft radars is pretty expensive, but I do think at this point uh, that is what I I want to do it as a pretty marginal upgrade, but still. Hmm. Question is, how many sappers will we need? Probably not that many. So I'm I'm inclined to, for example, give uh, some of my guys things like the nibble warfare. Although, you guys don't need flamethrowers because they have flamethrowers by default. So, uh, these are actually ones that can get sappers. Whereas, these guys would need flamethrowers. And then, I'll just let them have... Mm, Yeah, things like that, they're not bad. So, I'll just do this. Not all of them also need flamethrowers, things like that. It's, uh, I think find a way it is. Let's get incendiaries. And if I can, I'll get high caliber. As you can see, once again, we're going down significantly in terms of uh, prestige so ultimately it didn't get all that much I have though sappers on them 15 fuel yeah that's okay in those cases I'll just generally rather go for spaced armor. Well, these guys get the Vickers machine gun. So, gun range becomes three. It's going to be pretty useful against infantry in the city. Uh, but I do think it will be most prudent on uh, the units that don't really have the ability uh, to attack inside the city that well. So, for example, these guys, they don't have a hero. You do with first strike, so I'm not going to give it to them, but the panther could also benefit from it. Now back to these. So they have tank flamethrower. These got, these are of course the guys with the the heroes. So let's just give them uh, that. Getting tank flamethrowers back, pretty expensive, but generally worth it. Uh, no, let's let's actually get you sappers, because if they don't have any of that stuff, 
like the ice threes do need additional ammunition simply because they only have three i think that's way too little um but i do think we're we're pretty much okay like this unfortunately the fort 92 does not allow me to level up any further still haven't gotten this uh marina gaskova i will get there as far as i know the germans have concentrated most of their remaining armored forces near balaton this is an excellent opportunity to destroy all the panzers in one fell swoop our equipment can handle the test our is tanks can fight the tigers as equals We'll see about that. I've seen some evil shit in my day, but what the Nazis did in their death camps simply defies belief. What was the point of such monstrous cruelty? Probably only the top officials of the Reich know the answer to that question, which we will surely ask them when we take them prisoner. We'll see about that if they don't commit suicide first. The Wehrmacht has launched an offensive in the Lake Belaton sector, despite the direct threat to Berlin. The German panzers will run out of fuel without the Hungarian oil fields. They have no choice but to protect them. This will probably be the great German Reich's last breath. Perhaps, Comrade Stalin, but the German beast still has fight in him. They have heavy tank concentrations in this area. Indeed. They had transferred some of their tank troops from the Western Front to the Balaton sector. Have you fielded many of those Lemblis Sherman tanks? We have, yet I must say that our modern Soviet tanks are much better. And our troops will be facing King Tigers. How do you plan to deal with this threat, Zhukov? The German attack will be desperate. Our best course of action will be to stay on the defensive. Let the enemy exhaust his resources and then finish him and his king tigers off. We will make up for our lack of tanks with artillery and aircraft. Good. Zhukov, I give you operational freedom. I expect a quick and decisive victory. I want our offensive renewed soon. We must press on on all fronts. Well, I agree. We're so close to Berlin now. We can't let the Allies have it. That'll just be sad. Comrades, is everything ready to repel the enemy? Affirmative, Comrade Zhukov. We've set up the defensive positions and we will meet the enemy with mass artillery fire. Good, Comrade Vasilevsky. Our main task is to prevent a German breakthrough. We cannot let them cross the line of Duna Pentele, Shimon Tornia, and Kaposvar. The loss of even one of these defensive strong points would mean the breach of our defense and the failure of the Balaton operation. It would badly delay the offensive we're planning ourselves. Holding these positions, we must damage the Germans so badly that they cannot continue their attack. Once they get bogged down, we counterattack and destroy them. We must capture the city of Natkanizha, Varashdin, Zalagerseg. Hardberg, Sombathe, Papa, Dior, Komarno, Donetska Streda, and Chopron. The final movement of the operation will be the capture of Vienna and Bratislava, two European capitals. All right, I. They kind of claimed that I actually. Oh no, I, I do have to hold the line. But I cannot deploy my forces in that area. No. Basically, I will just have to hold this region. Funnily enough, they're allowed to retake Budapest. <clears throat> the game uh, seems to not really care about that. Neither are there any, you know, German units that are still trapped there or something. So I should probably split up my forces into two groups. One which will defend over on this location. 
and one which will defend in this location. Unfortunately, neither side offers something like a river to defend. I mean, there's the center of the map, Lake Balaton. At least they cannot get across that, but that basically has uh, everything said. At any rate, uh, let's start deploying. So, I want to start with some of my uh, infantry. There are also some forests here, but less. So I'll we'll put the third infantry over in this sector. So, be a third artillery on this side, and currently I do have two here. Means that I will have to compensate a little bit. In, uh, in terms of firepower when it comes to tanks. Apparently, I actually do need almost all of my deployment uh, Zones. Interestingly enough, I need to get uh, one of the hero fighters on each side. I think, yeah, I do have an airfield there. Oof. Seems like I barely made it. Rough road and railway. I actually want to take a look. Because technically, yeah, there's no reason to put them that far, but I believe I cannot lose this. Yeah. So, I don't believe they have any specific, uh, no.
Mm, I actually think they are fine in that position. I cannot do anything with their with those bombers, so I'll put them back. I do need to rush. forces over to the north Just kind of have to hope that the AI doesn't see my artillery there, but I do have two AA I'm trying to uh, prevent them. I don't see them getting all the way through there on the first turn, maybe a, a second, but. It is highly unlikely that they they will get all the way there. I actually think 25 units is not that much comparatively. Which indeed would suggest that they are desperate. Um, but we will have to see. I don't want to say that their infantry is in the that infantry is in the way, but ah oh, yeah, it's a shame I cannot undo that though. Generally, always use altitude. The thing that actually concerns me the most here They would have to get in that hex. It, again, it's, I think, pretty unlikely they'll get in there. Um, you obviously can never be sure. But I, I do think it will be it's a bit far fetched to say that they will get there. To 
be honest, one of the big, let's just say, problems is just that I kind of don't know where to put my units. Um, let's actually put you down here in the center. Alright, let's take a look. First turn's always the worst. Uh, the enemy probably has a lot of troops as well, so I would not be surprised to see this taking a very long time. I wouldn't be surprised if they would uh, work to get through with a couple of planes eventually. That's not my unit. As before, I think the most dangerous asset that they have are the air forces. If we can negate that. For the first uh, few turns, while they are busy bombing the blue units, I will be very pleased. Yeah, that was always going to happen, but getting a little bit of non-core damage or uh, just uh, yeah, non-lethal damage here and there, there's nothing to worry about. And after their first turn, I can go a little bit on the offensive myself. But it's important that the uh, blue units soak up as much of the damage as possible during these first couple of turns. Especially with the large amount of air forces they have. But that so far has been going reasonably well. Ah. That's a pretty long distance. That too is an overrun, so it's definitely something to keep in mind. This is dangerous though, because this is the hex that needs to remain under our control. They won't take that, but... Uh, Hmm. Well, 
I don't think that will finish it off. The infantry is in cities is pretty sturdy. Generally. This was an excellent defense. I wonder why these guys don't attack anything there. It's a bit weird. But there'll be an opportunity to deal some damage. Some seriously poor damage for uh, their units. Yeah, if you're gonna attack mines, that is excellent. I don't mind that. I wouldn't be surprised to see almost all blue units uh, die off before we can go on the counteroffensive. It does not look like they have a very good, uh, good strategy going. Let's just go through this quickly because I don't think they'll achieve all that much. Mostly as well because the enemy has AA. We're just running straight into it. Stuff like that doesn't help either. Like what are they doing? That's very weird. It's unfortunate, but they're actually blocking my way. Comrade Zhukov, would you say you are a good head of the household? Tough to say, Comrade Beria. Any commander has to manage all kinds of resources. Perfect. You're going to have to manage some important Hungarian resources. There are several oil fields and processing plants around Balaton. If they get pressed too hard, the Germans are planning to blow it all up. We can't let that happen. You don't prepare an oil industry in a week, and we need the fuel. Capture those oil fields, Comrade Zhukov, but make sure you take those wells and processing plants intact. Understood, Comrade Beria. I'll try not to leave the Soviet people without Hungarian oil. Ten turns. Well, you're not making it easy on me. Either way. This is a Nash horn, isn't it? Yeah. I'm gonna wrap things up. I wanna thank everybody for watching. <laughs> it's a weird moment. Uh, do hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like, comment, or subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care. See you next time. And bye-bye.